Did you know, for example, 60% of mums like to get dolled up to do the school run? And in Russia, that figure's even higher, as each dolled up mum contains another smaller mum. <laughs> 47% of Brits have used a public library in the last 12 months. I think libraries provide an essential service for people on the high street who need to take a shit. <laughs> and a third of women choose their own engagement ring because they don't trust their partner's taste. Well, he chose you. <laughs> Sean Steen, what do you think the nation have been talking about this week? Hmm. The, the the car racing guy, Lewis. Lewis Hamilton, yeah. <laughs> he won the world championships, world champion of the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've got the fastest machine competition, which is, appears to be whoever's got the fastest car wins. It should be the car that wins, and at the end, the car doesn't get anything. It doesn't even get like a nice tank of petrol. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, right out in the countryside, instead of going round and round a fucking track. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, would you would you fancy a go at it? I mean, you're you're a sportsman. I'd love to have a go. Yeah, I you like have... a bit of adrenaline. You like a bit of adrenaline? Oh yeah, gymnastics. <laughs> oh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Have you tried doing a back somersault? Have I tried doing a back somersault? How do you think I got on stage this evening? <laughs> <laughs> I somersault in. Oh really? We must have missed that one. Please show us again for the cameras. <laughs> Very fine. Well, no, because of health and safety, I probably, <laughs> I probably shouldn't in these heels. <laughs> you can't do a back somersault just off the bat. You can't. You have to, you have to warm Are up. Are you and asking stuff. me or telling me? <laughs> I think we're flirting. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do a back? Go on, do a back somersault. All right. You got to warm up. I told you you had to warm up. That's the... <laughs> That's That's warm up oh, what? Oh Jesus! Don't do that. <laughs> ah. What's up? <laughs> this is. You're next, though, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, straight after. But I'm right, just gonna. Right, I'm just right, gonna. Sorry. Just watching because yeah. I need to learn the technique. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh! Oh! So just, I just, <laughs> and then go on under a few buttons first. Oh, uh, is that it? Yeah, yeah. 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 Whoa, no, yeah. Yeah, you can see it. Whoa. Ready? No, don't actually do it. <laughs> I thought there was no adrenaline in gymnastics, so this would be easy. Yeah. All right, there okay. is some. <laughs> uh, can you, can you, I mean. Did you know, for example, according to experts, people on diets lose two friends for every stone they lose, and those two friends are Colonel Sanders and Mr Kipling. <laughs> the average Brit will spend £11,000 on dates before finding the one. So viewers at home, men and women alike, just turn round now and have a quick look at your partner. Hard to believe, isn't it? You spent eleven grand on that. <laughs> And people in Sheffield have the most missing teeth in Britain, and that's because in Sheffield, the tooth fairy is their main source of income. <laughs> well, Paul, as you're on the show tonight, we thought we'd have a little sort of 8 out of 10 cats bake-off. Sean, what have you got? Oh, I went to town. What did you bake? <laughs> well, you never, you've heard, obviously, you've heard of the famous uh, layer cake. Oh, yeah, the layer Paul. cake, of course. <laughs> well, I went... I went for a... lay-by cake. Talk, talk us through the cake. That's an extraordinary cake. thing. Well, it's a lay-by. And we've got here, we've got a, a badger that's been run over. <laughs> and then there's a yeah, mattress. Good. There's a Battenberg mattress. I've done the back with, with some stains on it. Dumped mattress on a lay-by. <laughs> some toilet roll. I didn't have time. I ran out of time to do the pants on the hedge. <laughs> what do you think of me, Battenberg? And then there's little bin bags here. <laughs> Genuinely spitting out. <laughs> Not... <laughs> Go on. Sean, he's got to taste a lot of cakes. He just tastes it and then he spits it out. What's this made of? This. Sugar paste? I used sugar paste and <laughs> a, an actual turd I found in a lay -by. <laughs> I think it looks fantastic. I like the sponge. It's nice and moist. It's got a good bake, honey. No soggy bottom. Well done. Thank you. No soggy bottom. <laughs> Does anyone have... John, have you baked anything? My favourite thing that got made this series was the baked Alaska. So, oh. I thought I could present that in the way that you are accustomed to from Bake Off. 
so. There we go. Oh. <laughs> you really don't want to have a look at what that looks what like down in trousers. Yeah, you do, you do. <laughs> I got a little bit excited while I was making it. Work. It does not Show look... everybody how excited you are about not, that cake. They're going to see how excited I was to make this. <laughs> Baked Alaska. <laughs> I see you've already got some cake down there for yeah. later. Thanks very much, Billy. Baked Alaska a la... Oh, is it a la bin? <laughs> Uh, Joe, I believe you've got uh, you've got some cake. Yeah. Uh, well, I've cakes. actually got a little bit different. I did a pastry, uh, but it is a pastry with a twist because I've decorated it with uh, me and Paul naked in a treehouse. <laughs> uh, if you notice, Paul, I've given you quite a large plonker. <laughs> I'm hoping that will swing it for me. Uh, uh, sorry, what did you bake? <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's a pasty that I decorated with us on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I assumed you had grey pubes. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think the winner of, uh, of Cat's Bake Off is? That's got to be Joe. You're going Joe? Yeah. yeah I think <laughs> Did you know, for example, 3.5 million Londoners use the underground every day? My grand's been using the underground every day for years. We buried her in 1994. 43% <laughs> of men over 36 say they don't have any close male friends. So, mission accomplished, eh, ladies? <laughs> and 33% of Brits have mistakenly called or texted the wrong person. I accidentally called my mum the other day while having sex. It was so embarrassing. I said, I'm sorry, mum, I'll call back. I didn't realise you were having sex. <laughs> Do you think you're cool, Sean? No, no, no. I think I'm terrific. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. I think I'm terrific. Yes, you are. I don't think I'm cool, no. Sean, what, what, what do you think makes someone cool? What? Sitting the wrong way on a chair is cool, isn't it? In the 90s, not now. <laughs> Go on, so hang on. If you were going to sit on that chair in a cool fashion, show us how that would work. Oh, the, I think the that... arms are going to get Oh, yeah. <laughs> she... <laughs> it feels like that was the wrong way to do that. Uh... I'd agree with you. <laughs> you look like you're waiting for something else to happen. <laughs> I do feel happier, though. <laughs> Carry on, daddy -o. On with the quiz, JC. OK. <laughs> so most people think they're called true or false. What are you going for, Sean? Before we go false, I just want to say, in their home, when they're looking in a mirror, when they're going to go out, they're dressing up. Look at this audience. They, they prepared to come to this... Well, you didn't. What? <laughs> and I think before they left the house, they thought, wow, I, I look good. I'm like, look at that jacket. Come on, stand up, show that jacket. I think, yeah. that's, a, I think that's a hoodie. Look at that. Yeah, but you got nice white things coming oh, down. You got a red tie going on. You are white school. You look good. <laughs> What's your name? Glenn. Glenn, you're too cool for school. <laughs> Glenn, I said. Um, Okay. It is. Please. It's funny you should say that actually, because Glenn has been excluded. <laughs> Glenn, do you think are you too are you cool, Glenn? Depends. If my head teacher watching this. If your head teacher were watching yeah. this. Oh, head, yeah. You know, forget that your head teacher is watching. We got you covered, Len. It's Glenn. It's Glenn. Glenn. <laughs> Glenn, you're covered too. Let me just say, <laughs> if you have a problem, you have her talk to me. Set that woman straight. <laughs> Don't, he'll get her pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know, for example, 73% of women believe men should always pay for a first date? I took a girl on a date, and at the end of the night, she said, I want to go Dutch and shag my mate Lars. <laughs> 36% of people in their 70s say they live life with a permanent smile on their face. They're not happy, it's just their false teeth are too big. <laughs> <laughs> and
And 19% of men worry about their moobs. But moobs are nothing to be ashamed of, just as long as they're not so big that when you look down, you can't see your mangina. <laughs> so North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has suffered two fractured ankles due to excessively wearing Cuban heels to look taller. So we asked our studio audience, would you suffer pain to look good, yes or no? So he was wearing Cuban heels to look taller. You're not paranoid about your height, are you, Sean? You... No. No, no, you know, because I'm exactly six foot. How tall are you, John? Five, like nine, ten on a good day. Yeah, I've got <laughs> a little bit of good news for you. Woo! I've got you these. Yeah. <laughs> it's they're... the news I've been waiting for, Jimmy. Well, they're Cuban heels, but they're in your size, so I thought you could... Are they? You just slip them on and we'll see whether you look more well, sophisticated. Why wouldn't I? Wow. Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty good. I think Fabulous. you'll enjoy those. I have another fact. Awesome. Apparently, 60% of people, of millionaires, are over <laughs> six foot two. Ah. Really? Does one tuck the jean into a Cuban heel? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah, yes, definitely. definitely. Yeah, you, defi you definitely do. <laughs> they all do. <laughs> oh. I've, got a, I've got a newfound respect for you, John. I just um. think... Can you go into the middle, or can you just stand on the... Uh... Oh, sure, I'll stand on the glowing light in case I don't look like <laughs> enough of a like bell end back there. <laughs> <laughs> I made a doc about a shoemaker recently, and um, he's been making shoes for 50 years. I don't think was... anyone's listening to you. It was... <laughs> I just think John has dropped a hip and we are mesmerised. <laughs> look at that pelvis. It's... It's sheep. Could be Would you consider legs. a Cuban heel? Would I consider a Cuban heel? The answer I mean... has already been made, James. <laughs> Are you sitting on my six foot then? Can I stand next to you to see what the hell? Yeah, well, Sean, if you can come out. <laughs> You're up. This is still bigger. <laughs> see, I still it... look shit. I just look like a short prick in heels now. <laughs> I, think, I think you might be about. <laughs> this might actually be technically a bit special. Oh, it's fun, isn't it? <laughs> um, John, I'm five foot eight. And you, I think we're about the same height. If I might no, be taller, no, I think I'm a little bit taller than you, mate. <laughs> and he says walking away in his Cuban heels. <laughs> Gemma, what were you saying about Cuban heels when John was so, parading around? In the seventies, every fashionable man wore high heels, not even Cuban heels, full-on platforms. It was like the ultimate chic. I wonder where it's gone because people still try and be out there with their fashion, but men just don't do it anymore. I think it should be brought back. Can we take a look at your shoes? You're wearing, you're wearing an extraordinary shoe these days, fashion-wise. Let's, let's have a look at Jamie's shoes. Just pop them up on the desk. <laughs> I think we can see, we can see where the 40% of animals have gone. <laughs> Would you suffer for fashion, Jack? Um, I've always been lucky, and I've not, <laughs> not, not had to sort of push the boat out in any way. Have People... you had any work done? No, but uh, I, I would like to get that number off you later. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, because you, you've had your teeth smashed in, haven't you, and then rebuilt and then all polished up and shined. <coughs> we all yeah. volunteered for the first bit. It's been years. They smash all your teeth out. That's and an it's an incredibly vain thing to do, and it's like it yeah. was about 24 hours of dental work. Mine are like some kind of uh, sort of colour you paint your hallway in. Like that, really. Yeah. I've never. Yeah. Had... Mucky white or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you go, weak mustard. Do you, do, you, um, do you blacken your hair to keep it so black? Um, I, I dye it. I think that's yeah. the term people are using. <laughs> I think. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I dye, dye my hair. Yeah. What yeah. would it be if it wasn't dyed? It would, it would, it would look awful. It would look sort of like yours, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of this thing called bleaching bumholes. Right. I'm pretty sure it's not called that. Well, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that. when you walk in, they don't go <laughs> bleaching bumholes. Bleaching bumholes. Oh, who's ever looked so much? Nah, it's too, yeah. nah, not for me. <laughs> Get that tidied up, maybe. I mean, but also, like... Well, it's quite oh, gamey, that area, isn't it? <laughs> if you have to... Like, can Sorry, you get a bum all, old Well, you lost us all on this a bit gamey, that area. <laughs> we're all just taking a moment to process that information. <laughs> it's like a bit of your shed you don't clear out, you know, and you go in there thinking, oh, I can't be bothered at all. Uh... Planks of wood and stuff down there, and someone spilt some paint yeah. and... and uh, for that, just you? chuck some bleach at it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, OK, so would you suffer pain to look good? What, what do you think our studio audience said, Sean? No, I think they said no. They you don't think they a would? Say sane and sensible bunch. You, you go now. OK, what do you think, John? Uh, I'm going to say yes, because I'm going to wear those heels for the rest of my life. So, <laughs> ankles, schmankles. <laughs> OK, well, I can tell you the answer is yes. 56% of our studio audience would suffer pain to look good. <laughs> OK, let's have a look and see if you keeps up there. Nigel Farage has been invited to take part in a TV debate with David Cameron. The Green Party have complained, but the truth is they've slipped down the party league table behind Noel's House Party, Block Party, Number One Party Anthem 2004, Iceland's Party Platter and my niece's sixth birthday party. <laughs> UKIP politician Roger Helmner has been caught visiting a massage parlour, so there are some Eastern Europeans he's happier working here. <laughs> website of the massage parlour that that MP has been to and all the girls have got like snazzy descriptions. One of them is fit for filth, <laughs> which raises the question of who is being surveyed and I'm afraid you've been declared unfit for filth. <laughs> One of the girls is uh, adorable and affordable. I, like, I mean, I read the news story, but I didn't Google the website. Uh, <laughs> I went there. <laughs> <laughs> That's proper research. You're adorable. And affordable, aren't you? <laughs> yes. I think I know the answer to this before I ask Joe, but do you, do you talk to people you don't know on public transport? Yeah, that's what really annoys me. People say you always meet weirdos on public transport. <laughs> <laughs> I've never met one. <laughs> I talk to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> the other day, I was talking to this girl and it was going, it was going very well. We were chatting, it was lovely. We hadn't made eye contact yet, but that will happen. <laughs> then I downed a jar of Lloyd Grossman's Boona curry sauce. <laughs> <laughs> and... Oh. and she got all weird. I'm like, oh, fuck <laughs> off, lad. Do they sell that on the trolley? No, I, just, I usually sauce. have a load in my bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's in that bag? I always make a packed lunch if I'm on this show. It's just a uh, bottle of taboo <laughs> and uh, 17 Scotch eggs. <laughs> I've never seen that many Scotch eggs gathered. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the collective noun is. Yeah. A, uh, a plethora. <laughs> a constipation of Scotch <laughs> eggs. <laughs> Do you know why I need to take 17, though? Because that's all you can fit in. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on a train with you, Joe, and it's a, it's a treat. Yeah, it's nice. It's Deceptively long legs, I found, when I shared a train with you. Seems yeah. to get everywhere. Can I ask quickly whether you guys are all going on the train? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Eight out of ten cats holiday, is it? <laughs> you know, works outings and things, nights yeah. out. <laughs> the Christmas do, we have the Christmas do. <laughs> and there's a summer trip, the summer trip yeah. away. Lunch on Sunday was lovely. Yeah, 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 yeah. it was good. Wasn't it? <laughs> Scrabble Tuesdays. Yeah. <laughs> And of course, curry night. Oh, that's Which, tonight. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if X Factor's up there. <laughs> yes, yeah, Cheryl's been accused of mining on the X Factor. The X Factor ratings have embarrassed Simon Cowell. He's really lost face and then replaced that face with a much bigger, wonkier face. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather get a massage from a friend or a stranger? John, do you like a massage? I don't like a handshake, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable with that much physical contact. The idea of stripping naked and having someone touch the backs of my legs and my arse and my neck. They don't do your arse. I know. <laughs> That's why they don't get tipped. <laughs> We've got some massaging tools here. Do you want to have a, a crack at those? Yeah, I like that. that was for catching spiders. <laughs> OK, Sarah, you, you, do, you do John. Hey. <laughs> oh, hang on, this is good. Remotely pleasurable. It's okay. You look really relaxed, though. That's John, good. Right. Hands on the desk. Yeah. Okay. Uh. <laughs> uh. 
There's people on their first night in prison that are less stressed than you. <laughs> this is a hand massager. So if you put that on. Do you want to give do you want to go with that? That's the that's the hand massager, Ready? apparently. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stick them Relax. in your eyes, Sean. Relax. Relax. I'm very happy Lean with forward. You. All right. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Feels like one of my kids is rubbing a car over me. <laughs> Isn't I've, nice, I've fallen asleep, pissed on the sofa. I've been woken up in the morning. <laughs> this kid there. playing on me. <laughs> I don't think I'd even want to be massaged by a bloke. I, I went with a, my friend of mine, and she opted. There was like a male and a female uh, massage therapist, and she said I want the bloke, and she said she could feel his <laughs> gentleman area. <laughs> She said she could feel it on her elbow, and I'm just fascinated by that cos I... Like, my elbow has got, like, rhino skin on. I don't even know if I could do hot and cold, let alone tell if it was a cock or not. <laughs> All right, come on. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry, I thought... I thought we were going to add, add a bonus round to uh, ten cats. And now, oh, no. cock or not. <laughs> uh, well, let's have a look and see if it's up there. <laughs> yes, the ice bucket shine! So those were the most talked about stories of the year. But in other news, Tory MP Brooks Newmark resigned after sharing sexually explicit messages with an undercover reporter. I blame predictive text. Brooks Newmark actually wanted a hand with the coming election. <laughs> <laughs> The Commonwealth Games took place in Glasgow. During the Games, Tesco claimed sales of haggis rose by 80%. I'm sorry, but that's a bag of shite. Or haggis, <laughs> as they're called in Scotland. <laughs> OK, uh, Sean's team, what else have the nation been talking about this week? The, uh, the, the Band-Aid are getting back together again. Bob Geldof said he got a call from the UN. Imagine he's got, like, a bat phone or something. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to do a, a song to raise money for Ebola. Apparently, they've changed the lyrics because, they've, it's, you know, because it's to raise money for Ebola specifically. So instead of Bono singing, well, tonight, thank God, it's them instead of you, well, tonight, we're reaching out and touching you, which is the worst possible idea <laughs> if someone has Ebola. Tonight, we're reaching out at you. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie here is a very talented musician. I've got a keyboard. Oh. We'll get him to do a song. Yeah. No problem at all. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Bang, you're on the <laughs> um, What do you want me to do? do? We were going to raise money for, like, like, a good cause. John's getting married, and we'd quite like to raise money so he doesn't wear a cardigan. <laughs> <laughs> so if we raise money for a suit for his wedding, that'd be... OK, so he, you're, you're getting married. Let's hope so. John. OK. Ev every day is a bonus so far. Do you want maracas for yeah. John? OK. Um, oh. If I had them, I wouldn't need to get married. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a joke. Doesn't make any sense at <laughs> all. <laughs> I like it. I like that. I like it. <laughs> John. <laughs> John Richardson. Right. He wears his beauty on the inside. <laughs> That's harsh. <laughs> John, John Richardson. A suit and tie would make his little face come alive. <laughs> he has got a little face. He's gonna take her up the aisle. <laughs> He's gonna take her up the aisle, so let's help him do it in style. People, can you hear me? He could look as good as Jimmy. <laughs> John Richardson. He's got, he's got the soul of a champion. <laughs> Right, before we go, all that's left to do is announce who's won the series trophy. Look at it, sure to brighten any wheelie bin or neighbour's skip. 
Get on with it, Jimmy. I'm holding John. Oh, man, he doesn't like it. <laughs> so congratulations to our series winner, Sean Locke. Oh! Sean Locke. Oh! 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 There you go, Sean. Oh! A, uh, a trophy for Sean there, which is undoubtedly will be described as a blunt object in the police report. <laughs> Oh, go easy. Um, I just hate myself now. <laughs> ah! Sean, how, how do you feel about the win? Yeah, it's brilliant. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed those clips. Uh, if you want to watch full episodes of 8 Out of 10 Cats, then you can on my YouTube channel. Um, just, you know, search for it on YouTube and you'll find it because it's there.